All right, let's come back to our problem now. So we're trying to figure out the mean height of an Ewok, an adult Ewok is 37.5 inches with a standard deviation of 1.8 inches. The mean height of an adult Wookiee is 85.5 inches with a standard deviation of 5.2 inches. Uh, this data is based on information obtained from the Galactic Empire database. Who is relatively taller? Wicket, our Ewok over here, whose height is 39 inches, or good old Chewy, whose height is 85 or 88.5 inches. Well, we're going to use z-score. So let's come down here and look at our formula for z-score to see who is taller. Let's start off with Chewy. And let's find his z-score to see how many standard deviations his height is away from the mean height for all Wookiees. So here we go. Chewie's <coughs> z-score is going to be, his data value is 88.5 inches minus the mean, which is 85.5 inches, divided by the standard deviation, which is 5.2 inches. So let's go ahead and take a look at this, do the calculations. 88.5 minus 85.5, that's 3 divided by 5.2 gives us 0.577. We'll go out three decimal places. Since this is the value we're concerned with, we'll go out three decimal places, 0.577. All right, now what about Wicket? our Ewok pal. Well, his height, his data value that we're concerned with is 39.5 minus the mean for all Ewoks is 37.5 divided by the standard deviation for the Ewoks, which is 1.8. And I'll grab my calculator here and let's go 39.5 minus 37.5, which is 2. Divide that by 1.8, our standard deviation, and we get 1.11 repeating. So 1.111. So if we went three decimal places here, we'll go three decimal places here. So what does this tell us? Woohoo! I found the z scores. What does it mean? Well, it means that Chewbacca is 0.57. Chewbacca's height is 0.577 standard deviations above the mean. And for Wicket, he is 1.11 standard deviations above the mean. So Wicket is actually relatively taller than Chewbacca is, because when we compare Wicket to the other Ewoks that he lives with, he, his height is 1.11 standard deviations above the mean, whereas Chewbacca is closer to the mean. His height is only 0.577 standard deviations above the mean. So what this tells us is that Wicket is relatively taller than Chewbacca when you compare them to their own race. A couple other things that I want to talk about for uh, z-scores. Whenever you have a positive z-score, that means that you are above the average or above the mean. Okay? You can have negative z-scores. If either one of these guys, either Chewbacca or Wicket, had been shorter than the mean, then they would have ended up with a negative z-score. And a negative z-score isn't bad, it just means that that particular data value is below the mean. So if I have a z-score that is positive 2.5, that means that I am 2.5 standard deviations above the mean, that data value. But if I have a negative z-score of negative 1.5, that means that that data value that I was looking at is 1.5 standard deviations below the mean. So you can have negative z-scores. So going back to our problem, we see that even though Chewbacca 
is definitely taller than Wicket. When you look at the Z scores, Wicket is relatively taller because he his height is 1.11 standard deviations above the mean.